Hi everybody, today I'm going to explain to you what a cavity is, what causes cavities and what can we do to prevent them. A cavity is also called tooth decay, cavities or caries. And all these words means the same. It means a lesion that appears in one of your tooth or in more than one of your teeth caused by the acid that certain bacteria produce when feeding from the left of a soft plaque that is present on, on the tooth for more than 30 minutes. We have um, billions of bacteria in our mouth and in our body. Some of them are called bad bacteria because their function is the destruction. And some of them are called good bacteria because their function is the protection. For you to understand a little bit better the process of the cavities, I'm going to show you a little bit about the anatomy of the tooth. So a tooth has the outer layer, which is enamel. The enamel is the strongest and hardest uh, structure in our organism, in our body. And it is made of uh, minerals and all the stuff, but um, just for you to understand uh, about the demineralization, uh, just for you to know that there's minerals on the, on the, in the enamel. Then the inside of the tooth uh, the inner tissue is dentin. The dentin is a softer tissue than the enamel and it's uh, in contact with the nerve. The nerve is what gives life to the tooth because it's made of uh, nerves and mm, blood vessels. So is the structure that communicates to the rest of the body through the nervous system and through the uh, bloodstream. Then when we eat, if the remaining particles of the food and drink are left in some part of the tooth for more than 30 minutes, that remaining particles start, that it's normally mainly from starch and sugars, they start a process of fermentation. It means that they start to get rotten after 30 minutes. Then the bacteria that are in our mouth, the bad bacteria, start to feed from these remaining particles and on that process they produce an acid. That acid causes that lesions like these tiny porous that eats the enamel away, getting and um, spreading towards the dentin. Once that bacteria, that acid lesion is inside the dentin, as the dentin is much softer than the enamel, it spreads quicker and, and faster. When it reaches the nerve is when it causes pain. So a cavity, on the first stage of the cavity that is only on the enamel, normally doesn't cause pain. So it's painless and it's only the dentist that can diagnose if that cavities are there because the patient doesn't feel anything. When that cavity evolves and it's very close to the nerve and or is right on top of the nerve or eating the nerve away, this causes pain and if, uh, because it's the inflammation of the, of the nerve and the next stage then it will be the infection of the nerve. That acid that the bacteria produce when feeding from that leftover soft plaque causes that the tooth lose the minerals and this is called demineralization. On that stage is where the fluoride toothpaste and mouth rinses may help to reverse the process or at least to stop the growing of the cavity because the fluoride um, provides the tooth with some minerals and then this can just stop the process or just stop the growing of the cavity. It's very important that you understand that 
the main thing to remove the plaque from your mouth is the actual mechanical removal with your brushing and with your flossing. That it can be with fluoride toothpaste or with others if you're not keen on, on, on using fluoride in your mouth. As I explained earlier, the fluoride helps on reversing the process of the cavities or stopping the growing of the cavities because it provides mineral to the tooth. So the fluoride is good, uh, but not in excess. Everything on excess or defect is not good. We need to try to find the balance, okay? But the actual mechanical removal uh, of the soft plaque with your brushing and with your with the flossing which is extremely important is much more important than any mouth rinse the first and most important factor that causes cavities is the diet so if you know that the acidic food uh, which is carbs starch and sugars uh, is the main type of food that causes cavities first of all try to avoid as much as you can that type of food so try to eat as much alkaline uh, food as possible but if you do eat acidic food then try to brush your teeth 30 minutes after eating anything actually when taking sugary things is important to brush your teeth straight after so do not leave rest of sugar for more than 30 minutes in your mouth don't give the chance for the uh, sugars to fermentate and then that the bacteria can feed from them and cause the cavities but actually with acidic food is important not to brush your teeth straight after taking it because it can wear your enamel away quicker because they are already acid so if you brush on top of the acid you can wear your enamel away so it's important to not to brush before that 30 minutes when taking acidic things so as it's very difficult to know which type of food is uh, has sugar or which type of food is actually acidic my general advice is to brush your teeth right 30 minutes after taking anything so it is it's, it's easier uh, otherwise uh, after eating something you will need to check if it's uh, acidic or if it's uh, sugary and then it's a little bit of mess so just let's do it easier and I would recommend then just to brush your teeth, whatever you drink or whatever you take, wait 30 minutes and then brush your teeth. The second factor is the oral hygiene. So it's very important to have a very good brushing and very good flossing. Uh, most of the cavities start in between teeth, where the teeth touch to each other. Uh, and this is only uh, visible and, and it can be diagnosed by the dentist when uh, we take x-rays. So most of the times, the holes, the cavities, are not visible clinically. Like if you just look on the teeth, sometimes it's just like tiny dots. Uh, but if we don't take x-rays, we don't see how big the cavities are inside. So as it's only the dentist who can see uh, properly the evolution of the growing of these cavities, last advice is to see your dentist at least twice a year to have these small cavities or that cavities cont under control and receiving the proper advice from your dentist. I hope that uh, information has helped you. Uh, if so, please just subscribe to my channel, share that information with your friends and families and look after your teeth. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.